We did it. We did it? We did something big. Welcome back to our channel, Remy, Bronte, and Evan here with Ride at Roots Farm. Okay, so if you've been following along, you've heard us talk about something that we wanted to do for a while. We've officially been on our homestead for, at homestead slash farm for exactly almost a year, a year and like a week. And we finally felt ready to get a milk cow. <laughs> we got a milk cow. We got a milk cow. We are picking it up within the next like week or two as soon as we get everything together. We have a milking machine that we ordered. Uh, we have all the other stuff that we need for it. And today I went to the lumber shop. <laughs> the lumber shop. The lumber shop. Lumber store and picked up some wood so we can build a cow milking station or a stanchion for our cow so we can milk it. Definitely for the cow. So we chose to square off an area in our shop yep. to do the milking. We're gonna tackle that today. We wanna get this done as soon as possible so we can get our cow as soon as possible. Yeah, we cow. let Remy pick out the cow from the farm. We did have some requirements. For us, we wanted a three-year-old, so she's somewhat mature and knows her way around being milked, but we can get a longevity out of her and hopefully have her producing for a long time. And here's the thing, this is our first ever milk cow. This is our first cow. We found an awesome farmer who really was knowledgeable and who helped us decide. Like, we had done our research, but he really helped Clover us. Clover Hill Dairy. Yeah, he really helped yeah. us decide what would work best for us mm -hmm. based off of what he had. And, and this one, that. I believe she's a, a Guernsey with a little bit of another kind of milk cow. Maybe yeah. Swiss. So, we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna go get my clothes. Will you get mine too? Inside. You guys, I'm Where gonna be done unloading it by the time you freaking have gloves. Where is mine? Okay, I'll go get them. This is how they get out of helping you. Every time. Every time. When we're doing projects like this, Evan likes to ask me questions like, hey, this is three foot. You think that's big enough? Like I know what the heck is big enough for a cow to be milked. I have no idea. Because we're going to build it in here. I just want to cut it out. Right there, you're doing great. So we're gonna hold this. I'll hold that. I'll hold that. Okay, so we need a five foot. Right now. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, this looks good. Like it? Sturdy, she'll come in. That's my titties. Okay, so we'll put a little grain there and some minerals for her and we got all our other stuff we'll build a little sh you know table in here or we'll just grab one of those plastic tables you know yeah order some of those or something because they clean up good we'll put it here we'll keep everything we'll hang up the strap put hooks you know how much did this cost only like well 
about 200 in less than 250. Not bad. <laughs> I love you. We started on the fencing, as you can kind of see behind me. For our new farm member, the milk cow, we don't have her yet, but we will have her soon. This is going to be her home. So for the winter, we are going to just give her this whole area. But once we transition into spring and summer and all of that, we will start rotationally grazing. So we will adjust the fence then when needed. But for now, we have the whole area fenced in poly wire. Well, not quite. We still have to finish this side along here. We left a trail around like around the border. So we didn't fence in the whole entire pasture. We left a trail for Doe, the wild horse that is on our property. And we wanted her to be able to get around it. She does not like fencing, of course, because she's a wild horse. So we left an, left an area for her to get back and forth. Now we also bought a calf and we're hoping to calf share. The farmer that we bought it from, he is going to let us know. He's trying to see if this calf will take to the milk cow that we bought. Um, and if so, we're gonna get her too. So we have to figure out an area for her or for the calf and how to keep them separated when we don't want her nursing. That is still all in place. This is what we've gotten done for now. I feel like it's a really good start. We've gotten a few things in the mail. Still don't have the milker yet though. So that's a big thing that we're waiting for. We could hand milk. Um, you know, if it comes down to it, we did get a cow that has good teats for hand milking as well. But we still have some systems that we want to put in place before we get her. We want to be like totally prepared because this is our first time ever. We want it to be as smooth as possible as, as it can be. We also have to keep in mind what we're going to do with our chicken schooners when once we have this pasture fenced in. That is part of like that goes into the logistics of the fencing, is making sure we can still do our pasture raised chicken operation. Evan's really good at logistics and things like that. I don't even try to get involved in that. But that's part of our thought process too with all the fencing. So here is where the fencing starts. And this is where we will be walking her to, to get milked every day. So we'll come from right over there, walk her right into the shop, and voila, this is not quite done yet. We're gonna, we plan on putting a table here. We hope to get hot water run to this area as well. Evan put up a hammock, I'm not sure why. Now I know what he was doing in here. That's all for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out. We hope you have a blessed weekend. See you on the next one. Bye. Come here. Okay, take two. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially for vanilla.